check one two three cheddar cheese in the place to be silver price report coming at ya bringing you the daily price of real physical silver haven't done shout outs in a while so i gotta give a shout out to the night shift people the vampire life people the night owl people everybody out there on wall street silver hanging out to the wee hours of the morning what's up shout out to y'all all All right let's get into it so very quickly before i do this price i made a mistake last week for the premium uh on friday that was eight dollars and 45 cents over spot i think i originally reported it at seven dollars and two cents i made a small mistake that i caught later so that price again for friday the fourth was eight dollars and 45 cents over spot so let's get into today's price this is for june 7th 2021 priced in u.s dollars american silver eagle 41 dollars 65 cents canadian maple leaf 35 dollars 79 cents austrian philharmonic 34 dollars 5 cents private mint 33 dollars 15 cents with an average price of about 36 dollars 41 cents premium eight dollars and 56 cents over spot so that average price up for today about 22 cents 11 cents there on that premium so let's see what happens here for the rest of the week now big news for the weekend wall street silver got to 100,000 people actually right now it sits at 100 100 100 102,000 people. That's how you say it. So big things, big moves, man. I'm telling you. Year of the bull, baby. We might be the turtle in this race. We haven't evolved to the bull full on yet, but we getting there. We're picking up speed. I'm telling you. When that Bitcoin price guy hit that week, what was that? May 8th? Something shifted. Something shifted. All right. So this is uh, what's going down in Peru. The presidential runoff election, we talked about this. That was on Sunday night. With 96% of ballots tallied, leftist Pedro Castillo had 50.2% of the vote, while conservative Keiko Fujimori had 49.7%, according to official results. So it looks like the more socialist side there might be coming to power. I know he was talking about uh, specifically higher taxes, some of these mining companies, natural resource companies. So we'll have to see how things play out, man. What happens to silver with that? Now, talking about Latin America, let's move on here to some other big news. El Salvador to make Bitcoin legal tender. A milestone in monetary history reported here by Forbes. <laughs> Excuse me. On June 5th at a conference in Miami, El Salvador President Nayib Bukele announced that the Central American country is in the process of adopting Bitcoin as legal tender, a move that would make El Salvador the first country to deem Bitcoin an official national currency. Ooh, big news. Despite El Salvador's small size, Bukele, Bukele's effort is a major milestone in monetary policy history, one with significant ramifications for the global financial system. So what does it do for a naysayer like me? nothing really look at that bitcoin price still taking a hit so yeah all my arguments about divisibility uh needing a non-monetary use you know economic calculation all that stuff all that's still into play uh things have to first be priced in it and then looking at this volatility how can you now what can the El el salvadorian government do to give bitcoin more moneyness it could fix the price of bitcoin to a particular commodity or just fix prices in general but then bitcoin wouldn't be a money it'd be a money substitute it'd just be like a federal reserve note and then they could i suspect do just like um nixon did with the dollar and then sever the connection between the money substitute and what is money the underlying commodity and then leave people with just just pure fiat 
but if they tried to start fixing prices to Bitcoin and doing a lot of price fixing, they'll in the long run screw up uh, their economy. The values will be set arbitrarily. Uh, I suspect you get a crap ton of malinvestment. You get like a Soviet Union type of uh, type of a situation where you just don't know how to produce anything. And that's one of my main thrusts against, again, Bitcoin. But I'm not going to get too much of that in there. I've done it before in the past. So anyway, that's just the uh, episode for tonight. Hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully you can incorporate this into your analysis. Until tomorrow, peace out.